A Fort Wayne mother is asking for a Christmas miracle, if you will, from the president. She says she wants him to step in after she received a letter saying her disabled adopted son would soon be deported. She wrote a letter on Facebook to get his attention. Now, that Facebook post has been shared more than a thousand times. And now that mom is sitting down with our Taylor Williams to talk about the ordeal as the politicians start to take notice. In less than 14 days, Jonas will face deportation. He was legally adopted here in Allen County in 2010, and his mom, Rebecca, says she's not going to let the government take him without a fight. They're not taking my child. This is the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Rebecca Hubley says her life has been turned upside down after receiving this letter in the mail from the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Service stating that her 17-year-old son, Jonas, had 33 days to leave the country or he would be deported. The issue is that Jonas can't physically do that. The teenager can't see, is nonverbal, has cerebral palsy, and is disabled. It might not matter to immigration, but he's a human being. And his life does matter. Hubley and her husband started the adoption process back in 2007. Jonas was brought to the U.S. on a medical visa. Hubley says while in Fort Wayne, the family worked with the adoption agency, the Port-au-Prince orphanage, and the country of Haiti to continue the adoption. She says the Haitian adoption was months away when Haiti was hit by the 2010 earthquake. Well, the paperwork was lost. I mean, no adoptions could be finalized down there. In November, the state of Indiana and Allen County approved Jonas's adoption in the United States. Over the next 13 years, the Hubleys say they've tried to get Jonas a social security card and his citizenship, working with state and national agencies. During that same time, Jonas's health declined, and Rebecca says their applications kept hitting roadblocks. Then, on December 7th, she got a letter from the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Services. She thought his application had finally been approved. Instead, the request was denied. I mean, I think it took my breath away. I thought, how? How can, you, how can you deny this? Like, I sent you everything that you asked for. That's when Rebecca took to Facebook, sharing their 15-year journey in the voice of Jonas, calling on lawmakers locally and nationally to help. That post has been shared more than a thousand times and made its way to Kendallville, where a family has agreed to pay an attorney to help fight. Honestly, in disbelief because they don't know us. And I haven't been able, we haven't been able to afford an attorney. I was just, I literally was gonna do it on my own. I was gonna go sit in USCIS or go sit outside the White House until something happened. With an attorney now helping, the race is on to get a waiver to keep Jonas in the U.S. while they continue the fight with his application process. And while the future is unknown, Rebecca said she will not stop fighting to keep her family together. It's not a path you choose but it's a path that you, you walk. There's no other choice. They're your kids. Biological or adopted, it doesn't matter. They are your children. We have reached out to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services several times. A spokesperson told us, quote, spokespersons do not have access to applicants' case-specific information, end quote. Representative Jim Banks and Senator Todd Young say they are looking into Jonas's case. Rebecca tells me if all else fails, she will be waiting for any officer who tries to take her son. Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.